Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hefe, internet psychologist here, and we are playing a new game. This has just come out, 2012, uh, May 10th, and uh, you guys should really buy this. It's available for download for 30 bucks. Actually, I'm just fucking with you. This is Cannon Fodder. This game came out, what, 20 years ago? Game from my youth. This uh, originally came on a three and a half inch floppy drive. For you younger audience, look that look that up. There's no CDs back then. I remember putting this in the A drive, installing it. Great old game. Lots of hours spent here. So let me just go over a little bit. This is kind of a uh, I, screw it. Let's not go over. Let's just get into it. Mission one: the sensible initiation. So we're going to have our squad. Uh, you see the mission. Phase one, it's a jungle out there. Our briefing. We have two soldiers in this mission, and we're going to kill all the enemy. Go for it. I will. So we have our two soldiers down here. These two little green guys. And we got Jules and Jops. So we're going to click on Jules, and you'll see how it turns from a completely green to a red and green. That's because we're going to create a new squad. Eagle squad, Jules. Snake squad, Jops. So whoever squad you're controlling, you control that one guy. The other guy's going to sit there and try and shoot at the enemy. But there's not going to be anybody out there. So here's the enemy. These little guys in these jungle outfits. And you can just keep shooting them endlessly, actually. So I may do that sometimes. Do, 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 do. Mission complete. All right, that was really quick. So that kind of gave you a little taste. After the mission, you're going to see your soldiers here, you got your heroes in victory, they all get promoted for being badasses and slaughtering the enemy without mercy. And once your mission is done, you get a bunch more recruits to come. We won't need them because in this playthrough, I am not going to lose a single person. That is the promise I will make to you. But first, let's save it, just in case. Dr. Hefe, let's do it. Next mission, here we go. So our squad down here, we have three men. We got a new guy. Home, we have three kills. Away, zero kills. Let's keep it that way. Mission two, onward, virgin soldiers. Let's see if we can get you guys some pussy. Bridge over the river pie. That is not a double entendre at all. Now let's go. All right, so these guys, this is our first water level. When you're in the water, you can't shoot, and you swim really slow. So it's not a good thing to be stuck in the water. And let, this, we also have three guys now. So basically what you're doing, you're running around. The other two guys will start shooting at the same time as the first guy starts shooting. Uh, they don't really have a mind of their own unless you switch them into a different squad. Then they will shoot by themselves. So let's leave Jules back there. He's gotten enough slaughtering for for today. Let's take Jops and Stu out into battle. See how well they do. So yeah, basically you just click around, left click, right click to shoot. Pretty simple. Move forward. Find the enemy, slaughter them. See that little guy s sneaking down there? Oh yeah, and then sometimes when you shoot them, they get into this wounded state. Should we put him out of his misery? Or should we watch? Yes, let his screams draw his companions to try and save him. I don't know if his screams really draw any companions, but... Oh, no, wait. I think we should kill him, because otherwise we can't end the mission. Yep, he was the last one who was alive. So, by drawing out his torture, we actually drew out the length of that mission. Alright, so this time, we have a new objective in our briefing. So, we must kill all enemy and destroy enemy buildings. So, we shall see enemy buildings for the first time here. And we're going to take Stu in. He is a new soldier, so let's take him in. Get his rifle bloodied, hands bloodied. Expose him to the psychological terrors of war. We see some slaughtered people over here. And, uh, what the heck? Why is there so many birds? Seriously, you birds need to shut up. And unfortunately, there's no way to kill the birds. So... For you viewers out there, you're just going to have to deal with these annoying ass birds. But hopefully we will not be doing that. We'll be seeing more more of these sounds, the bang, bang, bang. More of these sounds, these guys going, ow, 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 ow. Oh no, save us. Yeah. 
So Stu's making some good progress here. Slaughtering all the men. And you can really do as much damage with one guy as you can with your whole squad of three. I think you can get maximum four from what I remember. So, but one guy can do as much damage as the rest. And here is our first building. I'm just going to shoot this box over here and hope that I do not screw up and kill myself. All right, let me try this. Come on. Okay, never mind. I'm going to go pick up the box and try not to kill myself. So now we have a box full of grenades. I'm going to go to a secret place over here, toss a grenade. Oh, and they're all dead. I blew up their house. So this is actually a little spawn area. Uh, these little oil drums, you can blow them up as well. To throw a grenade, right click, so you're shooting, and then left click. Boom! That's, that didn't get that guy? You are one sneaky guy. And for some reason in this version, you have unlimited grenades. So that'll be useful. I'll try not to overuse them. Don't want to create a kind of cheap version of the game. But, well, maybe. We'll see what happens. So everybody's getting a new rank. Oh yeah, and people rank up based on how much phases were in the mission. So you see Stu got uh, more promotions than Jules and Jobs did from the first one because he went through two phases as opposed to one phase in the first one. So now we have our fourth recruit, RJ, and he should be the last recruit that we see because nobody is going to die on my watch. But just to make sure, let's save it again, Dr. Heffer. All right, mission number three. Antarctic Adventure! Of course, who wouldn't want to have an Antarctic Adventure? Kill all enemy, destroy enemy buildings. This is pretty much what you're going to see for most of the game. Um, I'm going to leave two guys up here and take two guys with me. Slaughter these blue guys. So now that we're in the ice world, we get blue guys. Green versus blue. And what we're going to have to do first is find some explosives. Ta-da! Grenades. You throw a grenade in somebody's house, kaboom, they're all dead. Now, a thing that will happen that really pissed me off, may happen to you, is that these doors fly off the houses. So you got to be aware. See that? And the roof will come. The roof will come and try to kill you. That roof is the most bastardest roof ever. I do not know how many times I've been playing through the game and the roof just falls on top of you, just killing you. And when you have missions where you have to blow up eight, to eight of these houses, it gets really annoying. It's like Russian roulette of houses. But a way to avoid that is to just throw the grenades right at the doorway and avoiding the roof. Just like that. Mission complete. And these guys are super psyched. You can see them jumping up and down. And that was complete. Mission three, all done. All right, let's get some more promotions from up high. Get that pay grade increased. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get any other weapons besides the machine gun, grenades, and the rocket launcher, which is to come. But hey, that's all we need. We're badasses. We only need a gun. Could take care of all these guys with just our bare fists if we wanted to. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our guns. All right, talk to Hefe again. Let's go to mission number four, super smashing Namtastic. All right, everybody loves this. All right, destroy all the enemy buildings. Let's see, what is going on here? Hopefully these are still the easy missions. I know later these missions get pretty freaking difficult. What is going on here? Okay, and somehow my memory is failing me because I don't remember this mission at all. But that's what happens when you download games 20 years after you've played them. Uh, okay, so there's a house that we can't blow up yet. Let's go find some explosives. Uh, da, 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 crawling through the forest. People shooting us at in the ass. Like Forrest Gump. In the butt talks. Can I see it? You want to see it? Ah, oh, that was a great scene. If anybody works in the movie industry, I'd like to know how they were able to do that, because that looked pretty spot on when JFK was meeting Forrest Gump. 
Pretty, pretty good. So we blew up this house. Let's go back to the top. Kill the last soldiers up here. And this mission, we don't have to kill all the enemy soldiers. So sometimes that'll be the case. Whoa! Sneaky ass son of a bitch. Oh, so it looks like they fixed the infinite grenade thing. Maybe that was only in the first mission. Ah, I forget so much. All right. I don't know what the heck that guy's deal is. He's just a little corpse that floats around in the water, apparently. So we have some grenades. Um, oh, we have a map down here, too. So we are the Red X, and... I mean, I'd try to point out what where the enemy bases are, but basically they're like the darker green stuff. You can see it in the top left-hand corner. That's going to be an enemy house that we're going to have to blow up. And the interesting thing is that while the enemy seems to spawn pretty evenly... Oh, what the hell? I lost a guy already? All right, we're going to have to cut and come back to this. All right, so now that we are back, already blew up those two houses. Um, I think I'm just going to take a single soldier across. That way we won't have people sh shooting us randomly. Oh, yeah, so you saw... Oh, I'll go over that next time. But basically you can choose uh, whether which squad gets the grenades, uh, whether you split it evenly or one squad gets all of them. Um, as I was saying about the spawning... Once you destroy the other spawn points, the enemies just, like, completely and totally all spawn out of one area. It's, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. You know, in war, if someone, if you heard that uh, there was an enemy blowing up another house, you wouldn't want to stay in your own house, would you? No, of course not, you say. Oh, god damn it! Ah, oh, this game is a lot harder. All right, cut, paste, back. Quick, 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 quick. All right, we're back again with RJ. Let's see if we can send this single soldier across. He needs to live this time. Um, I think I found out why it was glitching before. Um, so if you send your single soldier to go... Damn you, stop shooting me while I'm in the water. If you send your single soldier to go pick up all the explosives and then use the explosives, you somehow seem to make it glitch and have unlimited explosives. But whatever. Although, huh, maybe not. Maybe just the little counter is off because I only had six there. And you normally, you get four, four uh, grenades with every box you pick up, so. I don't know. We'll figure out what the glitch is later on. Uh, Want to complete this mission. Just have to destroy the next house. Don't have to kill everybody. So throw that last grenade and victory. All right. So this is a good introduction to cannon fodder. Uh, we will be back with phases 2 through 4 of Mission 4, and possibly Mission 5, depends on how quick these are. Uh, leave me some feedback on this. I'll probably get back to Alan Wake a little bit later in the next week. Uh, remember to vote, comment, subscribe, and take care of yourself.